folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Y'all see where I'm at. Boom. Got a different place today. We're at EFI Specialties with Mr. Dade Katz, who's been tuning Shake and Bake for quite a while now. Uh, we're out here to get old girl on the dyno. <laughs> I think I did get this view in the final final view for the uh, the install, but there she is. Dave's coming around here in a sec, uh, and he's gonna grab the car, strap it down. We'll go back to the dyno shop and bam, get some dyno numbers. Alrighty, folks, here we are again. <laughs> Old girl strapped to the dyno. get us a baseline see what happens let dave work his magic so what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to wind up with two tunes one tune is going to be just daily driver stuff with just water in the ice tank so i can just daily drive her around and be feel safe and then the second tune we're going to put a bunch of ice in the ice box and see how much of a difference that makes if he can do any other tweaking to the tune or whatever but so we'll at least get a good idea of just what run, running water looks like compared to what running ice water looks like. So stay tuned folks, this is gonna be a good one. All right folks, y'all see the man. The man with the plan and the keyboard sitting in the driver's seat. <laughs> y'all saw him real quick. He's got, he's got old girl chopping down trees. He's got her, got her chopping down trees. Looks like it would be ready to do a pull here in a minute, so stay tuned. Hey, 750, 600 torque in the heat. That's not bad. I wonder what the, what the boost is. I bet that intercooler is way more efficient as far as boost drop, too. Oh, yeah. I wonder how much yeah. more boost it takes. Probably quite a bit. All right, so that pull was 750, 600 torque on 17 pounds of boost. So we got to get that situated. Yeah, I'm so it's 180 degrees right now. I know, I know. So hey, you gotta here, be sure, you gotta, here's here's <laughs> here's the next piece of this. YouTube loves it. It is we got to fix the air intake temperature sensor because we have the GM one that fits in the back of the high ram where the Mopar one is or the the GM one is 18 the mopar one is one quarter so you got to have the mopar one and an adapter to make it all work so i'll tell you this dave is checking to see if he has it so cross lot, my fingers i see a lot of cars come across our dyno and i promise you i've seen this problem a lot this exact one <laughs> the same shit the gm1 and everything so don't feel bad so 
We're in a little bit of conundrum right now. Crossing my fingers. Dave's got what we need. We'll see. sensor we lost we lost some horsepower but that's all right dave's a tuning master he's gonna get it back that's just a baseline pull folks baseline pull we got some tuning to do so stay tuned all right so the reason why we lost so much power is and you can kind of see it in the graph a little bit it was so rich because we had the right intake the right air intake temp sensor and we were getting the right temperature <laughs> it, it was so rich it was beginning to misfire so obviously you know the deal when it misfires those timing the whole nine yards so that's why we lost power so Dave's in there on the keyboard doing his thing I'm gonna sit in this chair and I'm gonna do my thing and leave Dave alone so we're gonna sit here for a few let him do what he does and we'll be back with the next port. Dave's got a little bit of tweaking to do. Let him do his thing, and uh, we'll see what happens. a little about 50 horsepower <laughs> it probably is starting to get warm we did jump in torque though the torque came back but i uh, lost a little bit of horsepower it is like i said it it, it it it's hot today it's 90 something degrees i'm just sitting in the chair sweating but uh you know dave's doing his thing let him go see what happens in the next run okay explanation on why we had the 780 786 in the low torque so he had it on a um he had a bad rpm sensor where he had where he had it placed so he had to move it to a better place to get the rpm signal uh, for the dyno so moving that brought us back down so the 786 was a spike that was an anomaly uh, because of the RPM sensor. So bringing it back and putting it where it's supposed to be, the correct numbers right now are 737, 611 torque. All right, Dave's doing his thing. We're gonna see what happens in the next round.
Ooh, that torque is jumping up a lot. So we got 744 horsepower, 643 torque. Ooh, that's a lot of torque. That's gonna get this bear moving, that's for sure. Get this boat out of the water and on the road. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with the next one. more torque than what she was before so let's just hang on till next one uh oh something wrong with the TD We'll check into it. Let's sneak up behind Dave. You know what? Let me turn off the TV and turn it back on. Maybe that'll work. When in doubt, turn it off, turn it back on. Let's see if that helps. Uh, I don't know, it won't come up here. Did it fix the problem? Huh? Yeah. That... Really? A02. I want to point out something. That's actual spark blow out. <laughs> <laughs> so E3 spark plugs, no bueno. Proof is in the pudding. Hey. I got to sneak over here. Hey, Don. Yeah. You mentioned the E3, the E3 earlier, what I said. No bueno. I'm used to that. What? They keep using this. 802 and 6. I'm going to call that 650 torque. I'm going to call it 803 because it's 802.90. So 803 and what I say? 650. Hey, you with the 850 had velocity stack coming. 803. You hear me? Yes, I know. It would have been 850. The most supposed to say you ever made without the lady was 750. 750, yep. Was that still 17 pounds of boost? Yeah, it's about 17. 17 pounds of boost, 803, 650. Woo! That's a lot of torque. You see how it was dropping off? Let's... Oh, wait a minute. We got it on the TV now? Yeah, you see how, ah, here we go. how it's shaky and dropping off? That's spark blowout. You see how it's nice and smooth now? Yeah. But you know what didn't change through all that? Your boost pressure. That's right. <laughs> I'm still boosting, baby. <laughs> Mac does not be quiet. We all know that. Probably, all right. Probably 12. Because really, there you go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna make some changes, and we'll be right back.
Whatever he did, the car is liking it. Eight seventy six. God. Eight seventy six. Six seventy one torque. And that's not even on ice yet. That's without the velocity stack. That's without a smaller pulley. That's the same pulley as the last setup. Same injectors. Man, that's amazing. There's the graph by itself. Eight seventy six, six seventy one. <laughs> ah! Woo! Can't wait to get the ice in here. All right, here we go. Dave's doing his thing. We're gonna do a run with the ice and see what happens. tweaks that he's got to do we may throw the last bag of ice in you know let's check out the let's check out the intercooler <laughs> oh yeah she's sweating bullets <laughs> it's sweating pretty good. I'm gonna go get the other bag of ice and toss in. Hey, we 
drop the 857-664. Must have been a bleep in there somewhere. We get a blip. I mean, all the numbers are exactly the same. I guess it's just heat soak, even though it's, it's, just not, it's not really getting that cold. Yeah. I mean, even that, that got back up to 90 degrees to a pull. Oh, so that was 90 degrees on the intake yeah. temps? Hmm. See, that one yeah, that so 876 was pretty cooled off, too, because the car sat for a while. Because the car sat for a while, yeah. So I think, you know, if I was to do that pull again now, it probably would be back in the 850, 860 range, just like the pull we just did. Right. But I just think to see a benefit from the ice, it needs to get down to, like, 50, 60 degrees or something. Like, I don't know what... So the, we need more I ice. I don't know what Demory did different on his, because his shit got down to, like, 50 degrees when he dumped the ice in it. I mean, he may, may have dumped way more ice. I wasn't really paying attention. But he probably dumped more ice in there. He, yeah, he dumped ice in there. That shit went down to like 55 degrees or something. <laughs> and it picked up like 40 horsepower. Hmm. More ice, baby. More ice next time. But I think we're good. 876 with just water. Ice yeah, will just be ice will just be a bonus at this point. Yeah, super happy with that, folks. Super happy with that. So we did some ice runs. We did one run, did a little bit better. Obviously, the car was starting to get a little heat, heat soaked. We've been doing a few runs. It, it, again, dyno numbers are dyno numbers, right? They are just a tool to tune the car. And that's what Dave uses the dyno for, is to tune the car, not necessarily uh, spout off horsepower numbers. But I know everyone on YouTube likes to spout off horsepower numbers. So our top numbers, 876, 671 on just water, 880, 677 uh, with ice. And that 876 number, the car sat for, gosh, probably an hour and a half, two hours. It, yeah, it was, it sat for a while. And it, again, just goes to show when the car starts making passes and starts heating up, numbers go down. That's just the way it is. But I'm super happy with, uh, with, with what came out tonight. Dave did his thing. Got me way more than I ever expected. Uh, I never expected to gain, what, 120 horsepower just off of the setup alone? Uh, he's trying to find the old one to match it up to. But uh, it's all good. That's going to do it for this one, folks, because I'm tired. <laughs> That's going to do it for this one. If you're stopping in for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the rest of the channel, do me a few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me a comment, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake will definitely appreciate it because every red penny from YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this one, folks. Adios.